Hi, so this week another coaching group is starting on Friday 30th and I what I did now today I worked on my mirror boards. Basically what every student gets, every student gets a board that we share together, the student and I, where the student can put up stuff and I can also make comments and, and sketch, sketch things. Uh, and for every student, I'm having a template. So basically, when your students come in, they get the template and they that this template helps them through the early stages of their project of actually finding out uh, what they want to do, where they want to go, uh, searching for job openings and the tools in there, and then trying, we're, we're building a, uh, a project out of this. So I want to give you a quick overview of what I've built because I think it's quite interesting and it, it can help you a lot um, in your process. Although you're not in the coaching, uh, you can you can use that in the same process. So basically, here's the board that I use. The, these boards are like you can you can modify them. You can zoom out so they're they're really big. You can also zoom in very 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 big, and you can like uh, you can start and make here as well like cards and then you can zoom out and stuff is yeah, it's, it's, it's very dynamic and I actually I love these boards uh, to work with because you can just copy in stuff so what I did is basically I started uh, started this out created a template and, and next what I do is I'm going to press here share and then I press anyone with the link can edit and then I'm going to set a password and send the board the link to the board and the password to someone so to all of my students or want the, the student that I create the, the the board for and then we can share this board uh, for the process so that's really I, I really love that it's like this thing ch changed everything when I started using this last year in September October that's changed everything um, so basically the first part is where we start. I have a worksheet for them to actually get some ideas. Okay, wh wh what do they want to go where, and where they rate their skills that they currently have to give them to, for the student to get yourself a bit of an update and a feeling like, okay, where's where are my strong sides? Where are my weak sides? Where should I work, uh, work on um, or what? Uh, what am I interested in and what am I not so interested in? So these are uh, basically the the things that uh, we're that we're looking at, and then the next part is like where they put in their LinkedIn profile and the media medium uh, user. So I can actually uh, share. They can write their their stuff, their articles if they want on on medium, and I share them or we share them then on my social media channels and on our um, LinkedIn company page. So once this is done, basically what the students do, and this is what I would recommend for everybody, regard, doesn't matter which job you're, you're working, it works very good here for the engineering. You basically search for jobs in that area or industries you want to go for, and you they copy in their, their links here, and then from these job descriptions that they that they have, they basically extract the tools that they that they using. And if you haven't seen it uh, in my uh, data engineering cookbook on GitHub, I'm going to put a link below. Um, I, I made this uh, platform blueprint, which basically uh, has all the all the stages of a good data science platform in them for connecting where you get the data buffer where you have something like message queues processing where you actually do the processing of the data storage and some visualization stuff so what they do is they they basically they they sort stuff out and and they they look from the job uh, descriptions what does fit here and from this what we're doing is then we're going the next step we're starting out on the left and now this is an important thing don't start now building pipelines what you do is you start from the left now you have these chops that are that are then here in the middle you know which industries you search for a data set of uh, in this industry or in multiple industries and you they copy the links in here 
and also they if they then progress they copy in descriptions of the data now they have that that left part um, the data set now it would be wrong to actually go into the pipeline building what we this is what, what we do then here we're bringing the actual tools from above down here and we're like building pipelines in here before you do that you actually need to figure out your goals these are the goals that you want to do with your project and that you that that basically make up your project and this has to fit to the data so you have a data set you find out the structure of the data set and then you think about okay what could i do with this data set and there are uh, a few things that i that i would look for and what I'm what I'm what I'm helping my students do in the beginning as well is like okay, and which are the two use cases that you all always find? You ha usually have a main use case that is something where you think about some transactional stuff, where you find transactional databases, where you find um, the the actual business processes. For instance, this, uh, the, you're working with e-commerce store transactions where the actual sales data is coming up and it's getting processed or visualized to the buyer. And then th that's the first use case. The second one is usually the analytics use case where you have some business intelligence data. Uh, you run basically through sales per day or you can look into uh, most selling products for e-commerce and so on. So these these what what you what we do is we we create these two goals in in these goals in these areas could be multiple goals uh, sometimes we also do a a uh, a design of a mock user interface how should that look in a user interface and then we then we we have basically the left and the right part of the pipeline we know which data we're going to send into the connect phase and we know the goals that we want to have here, for instance, in the visualization part. And then you can actually go into and we're, we're building the pipelines. We're talking about the tools that you use, the NoSQL database, transactional use databases. Um, as that stuff like Kafka, Spark, on AWS, uh, Redshift, Hive, all these tools, we, we're basically figuring out where do they fit in here. And then we're, we're moving along with the project. So these things can get very, very big. As you see, there's a lot of space in these, um, actually in these, uh, these boards. And yeah, we're, we're, we, we use stuff to share. I see when, when students have updated something, they see when I have updated something. If we look together, I see their, their actual mouse cursor and so on. So. And this is usually how we how we work and it's a really really nice tool uh that re as i said really in the coaching this thing helped me a lot and i had a rudimentary um template i only had a template with this before connect buffer process store and visualize and i actually went into into it and i and now i, I created this multi-stage template where we start here on the top and we move to the bottom as basically our main main focus area or, or, or yeah our process and i think this process you can use that all the time uh, in your job if for a data scientist uh, the same thing also for for uh, especially for data engineering i have experience that works really really great but i, I guess you can do that in, in other jobs as well so uh, I hope you you learned something and you can use that in your daily work or use that in your uh, uh, learning new stuff. Uh, yeah, the coaching start. If you're interested in the coaching, by the way, I have two open seats. Um, usually I do six students every month. Uh, four are already uh, already taken, so I have two more open seats. If you're interested, the link is also uh, below. It's on our on our. Uh, on our site learndataengineering.com basically let me let me bring it up here basically here on when you when you go to our site learndataengineering.com um, you have here the two things the academy where you have basically only the content only this the courses that are bundled with it uh, and also where i bring in uh, new course creators and you have the coaching 
where you also see a bit more about the process and what I do. And uh, I also have a, a few uh, example projects here where you can click on and also some platforms and tools that, that we used before. Yeah. Um, that's it. Again, I hope you learned something. I hope you have you used that somehow. And let me know if in the comments if you have some questions around that. I'm happy to answer. Uh, you can also reach me on LinkedIn or on Twitter. Yeah. Best way would be to actually comment here on YouTube. Uh, that also helps the algorithms. And like a thumbs up would also be really, really awesome. So see you again next time. I'm going to try to do more update videos of like the daily stuff I do. I think it's very interesting and also for me an interesting part of like uh yeah documenting the whole journey that I'm that I'm taking here. So again, see ya. Bye bye.